Hi there, Robert Rask, Rask Guitars here. Um, I'm building some uh, neck blanks today and uh, ran into a little bit of an issue with some of the wood that I have and so I wanted to uh, take an opportunity to show you how I deal with it. Um, here's a couple of pieces of mahogany that, that are going to be my neck blanks. Uh, both of them were from the same board and they were pretty bowed. Uh, there, there's some good cupping and, and uh, a little bit of twist to them. And so this one I've already addressed and it's now dead flat. Okay, so we wanna, we wanna really start with a really flat piece of wood when we're gonna make a neck blank, obviously. So uh, this one's not gonna work in its current condition. Uh, you can kind of see how twisted it is, or well, how, how bowed it is, but then there's also some uh, twist to it as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna kind of address it. Uh, now, here's an interesting thing. I don't have a planer or a joiner. Now, if you did, if you do have a planer or a joiner, not a planer, but a joiner, it's really easy to use a joiner to straighten this out. And the very first thing you would do is you'd run it through the joiner face down. That's called face joining. And you'd, you'd you know, you'd push blocks and you'd run it across and you'd just clean the bottom off. Here's the reason why you can't do it with just a planer, okay? If I have a board that has this bow to it, and I'm gonna put it through a, a, a planer, it's gonna, it's gonna peel the top layer off, right? Skin that thing down. There's rollers that is pushing this board down and holding it as it's going through the planer. As that's happening, it's gonna, if there's any flex in the board or any you know uh, twist, it's gonna push it down flat, it's gonna peel it off, and it's gonna come back out with the same exact bow. You're just gonna have a clean bow. Right? It's not going to do you any good. The funny thing is, is that I actually sold my joiner and my planer and turned around and bought this uh, drum sander because I used that in guitar building way more than I ever. In fact, my, my planer didn't get used for like a year. Um, in guitar building, I'm using really thin woods, a lot of figured stuff, and a planer tends to tear out. Even if you have a helical, you're going to get some tear out. You don't get that with a sander. And so when it comes to guitar building, a planer really doesn't serve a purpose. I, I don't have one. I don't have plans to get one. I will probably get a joiner in the future, but, you know, I sold both my planer and my joiner so I could get my drum sander because it was, you know, more uh, advantageous for me at the time. Now, that being said, every once in a while I come across a board like this that I've got to address and I don't have that joiner. Um, so how do I do it by hand? And how can I do it quickly and efficiently? Uh, so that I can make this flat. Because I'm gonna have the same problem with the with the drum sander. I'm gonna push it through. Those rollers are gonna pinch it down and hold it, and as it goes through, the, the, the drum is gonna push it down, and as it comes back out, it's gonna spring back up. And it's not gonna do me any good. It's not gonna remove, it's not gonna flatten, it's just gonna clean it off, and that's it. So, we need to flatten this. We need to make it dead flat. And so, uh, that's what I'm gonna show you now. Okay, that's my so these are my high spots so my high spots are in these corners here um, opposite corners so I'm going to take those down first with my hand plane the next thing so I've got a bow and I want that bow side you know the, the cup up so it's rocking it's rolling this way I'm exaggerating that but um, but we want it to bow that way okay and then I'm going to try to flatten from the center out taken out the uh, the twist in it completely but we are still bowed pretty significantly as you're working this thing you're gonna end up kind of the more process you take the more it's going to drift toward the center. Like right now when I'm pushing my plane, I'm not feeling anything grab until I hit this, you know, this clean part, right? 
and so the more passes I take, the farther it works back, until finally, as I flip the board around, I'm pretty much making contact all the way down. Okay, now that I've gotten both sides from the center, it was cupped like this, and I worked on one side, then the other, and I kept going back and forth, until pretty much I've got it pretty dang close to flat. There's a little bit underneath, um, but at this time, I, I'm gonna do one last little thing before I put it through my drum sander, uh, which will parallel it. And that is, I'm gonna use this thing. Now this, this is actually one of my favorite tools in the shop. Uh, it's really inexpensive. Actually, I got this for free. It's a piece of granite that I got from a granite countertop company. They were gonna throw it away. It's two foot by two foot, maybe 25 by 25. And uh, I went to a local abrasives company and had them cut me a piece of, of sticky back or PSA uh, sandpaper at, at 60 grit, okay? Put that on a piece of granite and this thing is dead flat. So I can kind of dress everything up with that. So I'm gonna take this little bit, uh, again, I'm not looking for a perfect finish here. What I'm looking for is a nice smooth flat surface all the way across the bottom of this board. Now I'm going to use my drum sander, and uh, now keep in mind this thing was bowed like this, so now this board is perfectly flat here, but it's going to actually have like a hump on the back. So now I'm going to put the flat side down, and keep in mind that I don't want to set my depth to the edge, because it's going to be much thicker in the middle, okay? So there you have it. This board is now ready to be made into a neck blank. It's nice and flat and parallel. And so uh, it'll make a really nice neck. So hopefully that helps. You don't necessarily need every power tool in the world. You can make do and, and some hand tools can serve a, a great purpose without taking up too much time, if that makes sense. So uh, let me know if you like what you've seen here. And give me a subscribe and a like. And We'll get more videos out to you.